So let's talk about what the black school is. Definitely, it's about how we can make an impact on the world, starting with our community. Self-respect, community respect, but most importantly, unifying. Unifying together for collective action. I, I, I just took an A to the face. Oh, you know what's up. Got that Chick-fil-A lemonade when I'm pouring up. Got two beats for days in my tray. The Black School mission is to radicalize you around Black radical politics. It came clear to me that we have to go to the youth starting with them before they become indoctrinated with these Western lenses. So the structure of the Black School is all about going wherever Black people are. We partner with youth organizations, we partner with high schools, we partner with middle schools, even down to elementary schools. Trying to get these kids out of the way of thinking that they don't have anything to contribute because over the history, we've been taught that black people don't have much of anything. So we're going to the youth and we're telling them the knowledge you have is valuable and it can be used to help that community. Self-determination is to motivate yourself, exactly. I said it's the ability to, to continue to push yourself to achieve greatness. Yes. After I graduated, I started reading Bell Hooks, Teaching to Transgress, and then I found out about the freedom schools of the Civil Rights Movement, and then later on I found about the liberation schools of the Black Panther Party. So all of those kind of came together and gave me the idea for the Black School. First, before we do any art making, we start with a survey. So we start with what you love. Then we ask what you want to change. So that's like basing the art making we do in a social reality. I would like to change the way my community uses violence to get revenge. What I love about my community is that some of them, they're very kind to me and that what I'd like to change is the gang violence. They're seeing that cycle of like violence being perpetrated on their community. And they're thinking that their community is inherently violent, but their community is actually just being failed by every major institution in American society. The black school is saying enough is enough. If these institutions aren't gonna serve us, we're gonna work to build our own institutions. And we can't change things on our own, but we can come together and change things collectively. Art is the picture. It intersects with the platform in that the principles that they learn in the, in the school, they learn it through art making. It's a, a robot trying to harness the power of the sun to create um, an alternate planet that's filled with um, a new start and like a new beginning. We are inspired by activism, but we're not activists, we're artists. Basically what they were doing was developing Afrofuturistic tools to deal with the issues the students were seeing in their community. Um, it's supposed to be like a watch, but it's also gonna have like a, a safety option, like three presses, then it lets 911, hey, you know, she's in trouble, you know, we gotta go to this location. I am surprised by the students' political engagement and it's coming out in the art. They have answers, they have solutions. And that's a lot of what the Black School is about. We're trying to, the students inspiring collective action to like correct some wrongs that they see and they have the capacity to correct. I just wanna ride around my city with my window in it just go. Over the course of the first year of the Black School, we did about 15 workshops at about 12 different high schools and youth organizations. And the idea was to celebrate the culmination of the program with Black Love Fest, which is like opening up the school to the greater New York City community. Like come out, see what we've been making. And that's the idea of like bringing everybody collectively in one space and inspiring that change that we want to see. This is the way you go.